Narcolepsy is a chronic sleep disorder characterized by overwhelming daytime drowsiness and sudden attacks of sleep. Excessive daytime sleepiness, EDS. This is the most common symptom. Individuals feel a constant sense of fatigue and can fall asleep without warning, even during activities like eating or talking. Severity can range from mild to severe, impacting daily activities and quality of life. Cataplexy. This involves a sudden brief loss of voluntary muscle tone triggered by strong emotions, typically laughter or surprise. Severity varies. Some experience only a slight feeling of weakness in the knees, while others may collapse and be unable to move. The severity of narcolepsy symptoms can vary widely among individuals and can change over time. Some people may have mild symptoms, while others may experience severe disruptions to their daily life. It's also important to note that not everyone with narcolepsy will experience all of these symptoms. Diagnosis and management by a healthcare professional are essential for improving quality of life for those affected by this condition. Disrupted nighttime sleep. People with narcolepsy often have difficulty maintaining sleep at night with frequent awakenings. The severity can vary, ranging from mild to severe disturbances that significantly impact sleep quality. Memory problems. Due to disrupted sleep patterns, individuals may have difficulty concentrating and experience memory lapses. The severity of cognitive impairment can vary. Sleep paralysis. This symptom involves the temporary inability to move or speak while falling asleep or upon waking. These episodes are generally brief but can be frightening. The severity is often based on the frequency and duration of episodes. Hallucinations. These are usually visual, but can involve other senses. Hypnagogic hallucinations occur when falling asleep, and hypnopompic hallucinations occur upon waking. The severity depends on their vividness and the distress they cause. Night terrors, also known as sleep terrors, are episodes of screaming, intense fear and flailing while still asleep. They're more common in children, but can affect adults as well. Intense fear and terror. The primary symptom of a night terror is a sudden awakening from sleep in a state of panic. This intense fear is typically accompanied by loud screaming or crying. The severity can range from moderate to extreme, with the person appearing terrified. Physical activity. This can include sitting up in bed, walking around, flailing or thrashing movements. In severe cases, it might lead to aggressive behavior if someone tries to restrain or comfort the person. No recollection of the event. Individuals usually don't remember the episode upon waking up. This lack of memory can be complete or partial and is a key difference from nightmares. Difficulty comforting the person. During a night terror, it's often hard to awaken or comfort the person. They may seem unresponsive to efforts to calm or reassure them. This can be distressing for both the individual and caregivers. Rapid heart rate and breathing. The person may exhibit signs of panic, such as a rapid heartbeat and fast breathing. The severity can vary but often aligns with the intensity of the episode. Sweating and flushing. Profuse sweating and a flushed face are common during an episode. This is due to the body's physical response to perceived danger or fear. Pupil dilation. Eyes may be open wide with dilated pupils, even though the person is asleep and not aware of their surroundings. Disorientation upon waking. If the person wakes up during or immediately after a night terror, they might be confused, disoriented, and unable to recall the event. Tachycardia, increased heart rate. This is a physiological response to the intense fear and agitation experienced during the episode. The severity of night terrors varies from person to person. In children, they are often more distressing to the parents than the child, as the child typically does not remember the event. In adults, night terrors can lead to sleep avoidance or anxiety about sleeping, impacting overall sleep quality and mental health. Night terrors differ from nightmares in that they usually occur during non-REM sleep, often early in the night, and the person is not fully awake during the episode. If night terrors are frequent or severe, Especially in adults, it may be advisable to consult a healthcare professional for assessment and guidance. <laughs> Sleep.
Sleep attacks, commonly associated with conditions like narcolepsy, are characterized by sudden, uncontrollable episodes of falling asleep, often at inappropriate times. Sudden onset of sleepiness. The most characteristic symptom of a sleep attack is an overwhelming sense of sleepiness that comes on suddenly. This can happen without any apparent warning signs and can be quite severe, making it difficult for the individual to stay awake. Microsleeps. These are very brief, seconds-long sleep episodes that can happen without the person being aware of them. During microsleeps, the individual might have a blank stare, head snapping, or sudden body jerks. The severity can range from mild to severe, depending on the duration and frequency of these episodes. Uncontrollable napping. Individuals may have uncontrollable urges to nap, regardless of the location or activity. These naps can be brief, but refreshing. The severity lies in the lack of control over these urges, which can occur in potentially dangerous situations, like while driving or operating machinery. Cognitive impairment. During and after a sleep attack, the person might experience confusion, disorientation, or a decreased ability to concentrate or function. This can range from mild to severe, impacting daily activities and job performance. Automatic behavior. In some cases, individuals might continue to perform tasks during a sleep attack, but will have no memory of the activity afterward. This can range from simple tasks to more complex activities, and the severity depends on the nature of the activity and the potential risks involved. Emotional distress. The unpredictability of sleep attacks can lead to anxiety, stress and embarrassment, especially if they occur in social or professional settings. The emotional impact can range from mild to severe, depending on the individual's coping mechanisms and the frequency of the attacks. Physical symptoms. During a sleep attack, individuals might experience slackening of the facial muscles, drooping eyelids, or a slack jaw. These physical symptoms are typically mild, but can contribute to the appearance of being disengaged or uninterested. The severity of sleep attacks can vary greatly among individuals. In some, they might be a rare inconvenience, while in others, they can significantly disrupt daily life and pose safety risks. The unpredictable nature of these attacks is one of the most challenging aspects, as they can occur without warning in any situation. Managing sleep attacks often involves lifestyle adjustments, scheduled naps, and sometimes medication under the guidance of a healthcare professional, especially in the case of underlying conditions like narcolepsy. Sleepwalking, also known as somnambulism, is a behavior disorder that originates during deep sleep and results in walking or performing other complex behaviors while asleep. Walking during sleep. The most obvious symptom of sleepwalking is walking around while asleep. Individuals may also perform other complex behaviors. The severity can range from mild, walking around the room, to severe, leaving the house or driving a car. Difficulty waking up. Sleepwalkers are usually difficult to awaken, and even when they do wake up, they may be confused or disoriented for a short time. The severity of this confusion can range from mild to severe. Unresponsiveness. During a sleepwalking episode, the person is usually unresponsive to others' attempts to communicate with them. Their eyes are typically open, but with a glassy, staring appearance. The severity of unresponsiveness can vary, but generally poses a risk due to the lack of awareness of one's environment. No memory of the event. People who sleepwalk typically have no recollection of their actions, the severity of memory impairment is usually complete, which can be concerning both for the sleepwalker and for household members. Performing routine activities. Sleepwalkers might perform routine or habitual activities like getting dressed, moving furniture, or even eating. In severe cases, they might engage in unusual or dangerous activities like cooking or attempting to drive, screaming or shouting during sleep. In some cases, sleepwalking might be accompanied by screaming, especially if the sleepwalker is also experiencing a night terror. This can be quite distressing to others and poses a higher level of severity if it leads to disruptive or harmful behaviors. Inappropriate behavior. This can include urinating in closets or trash cans, which is more common in children. The severity depends on the nature of the behavior and its social or hygienic implications. Potential for self-injury. 
The risk of injury during sleepwalking episodes can be significant. Sleepwalkers might trip, fall, bump into objects, or even leave the safety of their homes, leading to potentially severe consequences. The severity of sleepwalking varies widely among individuals. In many cases, it's a rare and short-lived occurrence that poses little harm. However, in some individuals, especially if combined with other sleep disorders like sleep apnea or restless leg syndrome, it can be more frequent and severe. Treatment for severe cases might involve medication, lifestyle changes, or therapy to address underlying issues. Ensuring a safe environment for sleepwalkers is crucial to prevent injuries during episodes. Klein-Levin syndrome, KLS, is a rare and complex neurological disorder characterized by recurring periods of excessive amounts of sleep, altered behavior, and a reduced understanding of the world. The syndrome is also known as sleeping beauty syndrome. Here are some key aspects of KLS. Episodes. People with KLS experience episodes where they sleep for most of the day and night, sometimes waking only to eat or go to the bathroom. These episodes can last for days, weeks, or even months. Altered behavior. During episodes, individuals may exhibit behaviors such as confusion, disorientation, lethargy, irritability, and in some cases, childlike behavior. There might also be an uninhibited sex drive, rare and periodic. KLS is extremely rare, with a higher incidence in males than females. The episodes are cyclical, with affected individuals returning to normal sleep patterns and behavior in between episodes. Onset and duration. The onset of KLS typically occurs during adolescence. The duration of the syndrome varies. It can last for a decade or more with decreasing frequency and severity of episodes over time. Cause. The exact cause of KLS is unknown, but it's believed to involve malfunctioning of the hypothalamus and thalamus, regions of the brain that regulate sleep and body temperature. Some theories suggest it might be triggered by infection, stress, or alcohol use. Diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosing KLS is challenging, as it requires ruling out other conditions. It's often diagnosed based on the symptoms and pattern of episodes. Treatment is mostly symptomatic and supportive, as there is no known cure. Stimulants may be used to improve alertness, but they don't prevent sleep episodes. Impact on life. The disorder can significantly disrupt schooling, work, and daily life. Emotional and psychological support is important for those with KLS and their families, given the challenges posed by the disorder. Due to its rarity and unique presentation, KLS remains a subject of ongoing research and clinical interest. Please like and subscribe if you found this video informative and help spread information about various sleep disorders. Please comment and let me know your experiences. Thank you for watching.